For the record, St. John's County school teachers, as well as all teachers, strongly support having an accountability system in place. However, it needs to be a system that is fair, reliable, and educationally sound. The current system under Senate Bill 736 is extremely flawed and had no input from educators, and as a result, has not produced a fair evaluation process. There are a number of inaccuracies in the VAM formula. For example, VAM scores are not educationally sound measurement and should not be used to determine the outcome of a teacher evaluation and quite possibly whether or not they should be re-employed. Districts are required to set ranges countywide even though the calculation is computed from school to school, forcing an apples to oranges comparison. The use of student rosters were not verified, so teachers in my county found students included on their personal VAM scores for students they never taught and students they did teach were excluded from their scores. How can the overall score be considered valid when the rosters are incorrect? Other teachers like guidance counselors, deans, K-3 teachers, literacy coaches, etc. had to base 50% of their evaluation on school-wide scores. In fact, in many cases, these teachers never met or taught the students their scores are based on. There is no direct correlation between the school score and the individual teacher performance. In one case, one of our district-wide teachers of the year was negatively impacted by the school-wide VAM scores. She had a highly effective observable score for the pre uh, observable, observable scores, and for the previous two years had highly effective VAM scores. But now she was the literacy coach for the school, and she had to be evaluated through school scores. The school-wide band scores brought her evaluation down from being highly effective to an effective teacher. How can the district-wide teacher of the year in the number one school district be rated just as effective? It is evident that the band scores caused her to have an invalid summative score. Discrepancies such as these may not encourage our highly effective teachers to take on leadership roles within our schools. The entire VAM formula is impossible to decipher and difficult for our teachers to challenge the data that was submitted, especially when the DOD did not send the VAM scores back within the 90-day statutory deadline. The tardiness of the DOE in providing the data eliminated any chance for teachers to amend their scores or adjust their class rosters for the past three years. For this failure alone, VAM scores should not be included in our teachers' evaluations. This year's VAM scores should be used only for the purpose of discussion and professional development. They should not be used in conjunction with teacher evaluations until there is an evaluation in place that is clearly defined, directly connects with teacher performance, and the data is returned from the DOE in a timely manner. It is vitally important for legislators to realize that they need to go back to the drawing board when it comes to evaluating teachers. It is crucial that a better accountability system is developed that includes input from key stakeholders, including teachers. We need a system that is fair, funded, educationally sound, and ultimately improves student success. Thank you.